everybody. I'd like to begin the speech with a big thank you to everyone who came out today. Thank you to everyone who came from out of town. Uh, thank you to the concert band for taking time out of their Saturday to play for us. Thank you to the teachers, the administration, and most importantly, the parents who have dedicated so much of their own lives to improving our own. And a special thank you to my mom and dad. I owe everything to you too. I'm so grateful for all the efforts that our school and community have put into this event, not just the planning they put into today, but for the four years of help and guidance they have given to all of us. At first, when I first realized that I would have to give a speech, I was a bit concerned. Not because I was nervous, but because I felt like I wasn't deserving of such an opportunity. The school has provided so much to me and my classmates, asking for so little in return. So I promised to make this brief, and I'll try to give a little bit back by sharing the single most important thing I've learned in my four years at Loveland High School. When I first came into high school, I always thought of it as a mere stepping stone to college. I thought it was an insignificant step on the path to greater things. As such, in the beginning, there are moments when I truly didn't appreciate the present because I was always so focused on the future. Instead of enjoying my time here, I would immerse myself with thoughts about college and my future goals. But what Loveland High School has taught me is that the future can wait. If you spend all your time focusing on the next test, the next class, the next degree, the next paycheck, you will never be happy. If you spend all your time focusing on the future, you will leave this earth without ever having lived. This is something that many of my classmates knew for a long time, but I cannot be more grateful to the Loveland community for teaching me that life's about enjoying the present and doing what makes you happy rather than confining yourself to your future ambitions. Because there is no single end goal in life. Life is built upon the successive experiences encased within it. Life is built upon happiness. Happiness in the moments, happiness in the memories, happiness in how we can make each other feel. When I look back on these four years, I won't remember the homework. I'm not gonna remember the long nights studying. I'm not gonna remember how well I done my exams. I'll remember the games, the concerts, the extracurriculars, all the memories I made with my friends and all the memories I made with my family. And most of all, I'll remember this moment right now at the culmination of my high school career, standing in front of the people who have made it all possible. And even though I leave Loveland High School with no regrets, in the future, I know I'll still want to go back, not to change it, but to experience a couple things twice. These four years have been incredible and have taught me to take in all of my life's moments to the fullest. Life is filled with ups and downs, but in the end, the effort we put into bettering ourselves and the world around us is what shall define us. We owe it to ourselves to make the best of our fleeting moments here on Earth by appreciating every single step of the way. So work hard, but enjoy it. Whether we are going to college, entering the workforce, or the armed forces, some of the next years may be some of the easiest or the most difficult. But no matter what life throws at us, Loveland has given us the foundation to make these next years count. And I cannot be more delighted, proud, or grateful to have spent the last four with the people sitting in front of me. Congratulations and thank you to the class of 2017.